He said, there's only two rules here in the cemetery that you have to abide by. <laughs> My club. <laughs> <laughs> My very ball was at the end. Oh, come on now. <laughs> where he barked that little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Critical Banter, the podcast that brings a Friday drinks chat to you. This week's episode, we have a brand new game called Hints, and we have a very old but classic segment, Overrated, Underrated. But before that, throughout the week, we got me, Miguel, we have Senny, Hello. Kush, yes, sir. and another full house, we have Rowie. G'day, g'day, boys. Today, we're trying the raspberry fruit drink, pop top built for kids with a surprise toy inside. Give me one second. Four out of ten. Lovely, lovely. Would you not recommend? No, would not recommend. It's actually for children. Very sweet. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. I got a yeah. I got a quick yarn to start us off this week. Uh, Migs and Ro, you already heard this one, but Kush, you haven't, and I'm keen to get your thoughts on this. I feel like you're not a believer, but let's see. I'll tell you the story and let's see if you believe. Well, I'll say strap in. Strap in. All right. So we we heard this from one of the boys at soccer, and this story happened a few years ago. Let's say maybe first year uni, so around 2016, 2017. Um. And so our, our friend has a cousin who was from Singapore. His cousin in Singapore back in, when he was in his early teens used to hang out in a cemetery. That used to be his pastime. <laughs> and he used to hang out there with a much older guy. So let's say if his cousin was 13, 14, this guy was maybe in his 40s by that time. It's what they call a groomer. <laughs> <laughs> so what this 40-year-old guy used to do at the cemetery was he used to dig up dead bodies. And apparently there's a thing in- We're just going to gloss over that real casually. Kush, no questions there. I mean, it's just a bit of, I, I'm assuming this is grave robbing. Is that what it is? Please keep your questions to the end okay, of the okay, story. Yeah. Um, there, no, there was a reason before, uh, behind it because apparently the, in the Singaporean or Malay culture, if the eldest son died, if you took the tongue out of the body, you could like preserve the soul essentially is the reasoning behind it. Now, this 40 year old guy, I don't know if he believed in it, but it, it was basically just his job to go grave digging essentially and grave robbing. The hospital apparently would give him a call when a firstborn child died saying, hey, go, go save the soul of the child. Like cutting out the tongue. Mm -hmm. So that's how he knew about the firstborn son. That's like, how he got, got the tips off. Yeah. So that was the, the older guy. And then for some reason, our mate's cousin just went along. And so they, they always went and that was something that they did. And then <laughs> our mate's cousin then moved. <laughs> Yeah, I, I watched TV when I was 13. <laughs> this guy's going grave digging with yeah, a 40 year old. From fr frolic in the cemetery. <laughs> so then, so his cousin did that for a couple of years and then he got a bit older and then he got into uni and then he stopped kind of hanging out with this older guy because I think he kind of came to his senses and realized it was a bit strange. So he hadn't seen him in years and then he moved to here to Sydney and then he was living with um, our mate. So then one night when we were in first or second year uni, our mate, his cousin, and then a few of the other boys that we know as well. So there was, in total, there was five of them, one car's worth. One night decided to go to a cemetery because he's like, all right, I'm going to show my cousin what I used to do back in the day. So they went, to a, <clears throat> they went to a cemetery and then the cousin said to our mate and all the boys, I guess, he said, there's only two rules here in the cemetery that you have to abide by. <laughs> my club. <laughs> <laughs> he said, number one, no spitting. Under no circumstances should you be spitting in the cemetery. And the second one was, don't step on any graves. Uh -huh. So within 30 seconds, our mate had already broken both those rules because <laughs> he was smoking. So he was already spitting as you do when you smoke. And then he was just kind of stepping wherever you want. And so when he spat, his cousin apparently lost his shit at him. Just like really? yelled at him. Like, what are you doing? What did I tell you? Like, come on. Like, this, I was being serious. And he apparently got really jeered up a bit. And the other boys had to like kind of separate them. Yeah. So he took it very seriously. Anyway, they hung around there for a few hours, trying to play jokes on each other, trying to scare each other, blah, blah, blah. So they, they, they finished that and they got back in their car and they started driving back. And then while they were driving back, the cousin got a call from Singapore. And he picked up and it was the guy, the old, it was the old guy who hadn't seen in years. And he's like, hey, what are you doing? Mind you, it's like 3 a.m. So about midnight in Singapore. And he's like, oh, I'm just in the car hanging out with my cousin. And he's like, no, no, what are you doing? Where'd you go? And he's like, oh, you know, we just went for a drive, went to go get some food. Yeah. And he's like, no, don't lie to me. Where were you just then? And the cousin's like, okay, yeah, fine. Sorry. Like I went to the cemetery. I wanted to show my cousin. And he's like, okay, so why'd you let him spit on the floor? Oh. And apparently at this point, it, all the boys in the car just froze. <laughs> and so then the obvious question we asked was, surely that's a G up. Like this has to be a prank. Yeah, yeah. And our mate swore, you know, to hell, you know, to heaven that 
it wasn't a prank. It was all legit. It wasn't set up before. This was le- actually what happened. So this four-year-old guy felt a disturbance. <laughs> the force. In the force. In the force. <laughs> <laughs> and he started to ring up the man and say, hey, man, where have you been? That part is creepy in and of itself. But it is creepy. How did he know the spinning? No, it's a prank. It has to be a prank. There's, it's not. There's simply no chance that, well, unless you believe in the in the spirits. A little supernatural know? episode here today. Yeah. I'm asking you, do you believe? Uh, and uh, look, I, I'm going to believe our friend when he says that it wasn't a prank and it wasn't set up. Well, yeah, the people who are getting pranked won't exactly know it because that means you've done a good prank. <laughs> no, but but usually afterwards you tell like, it's yeah. like, ha ha, that was a joke. You yeah. don't just leave the prank for life. Also, apparently the cousin, like one, he normally doesn't get scared, but even he got scared when the guy called and two, he can't act. So when he looked genuinely afraid, it was, he was actually to the core. <sighs> I don't know, man. We're, we're taking this word as gospel, all this, you know, it's true. This is what happened. That's all we can do. But do you, do you believe in those sorts of coincidences? No, nah, I've never experienced that. So I can't really believe in a, in a coincidence mm. like that. You know what I mean? I think until I see it. Yeah? I was shook when I heard this story, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. And our friend who it happened to him, he said he couldn't sleep for two weeks. Yeah, I, if that happened to me, I wouldn't be sleeping for, for a yeah, long time. Yeah, because when I watch horror movies and stuff like yeah. that, I, 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 the last horror movie I watched, I think was... um. Uh, I forgot what it was called. I think it was the, it was one with the girl who comes out of the TV. The ring? The ring. That's the one I watched. And I remember feeling like I dropped my partner home that night. Yeah. And I just kept checking the rearview mirror because <laughs> I just felt like there was someone in the back seat. And like Ooh. that was a terrifying experience. I haven't seen a horror movie since. But imagine if this someone calls you from like Singapore who you haven't spoken, experience. a real life thing. This is a movie that I watched. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness yeah, it would be gracious. Crazy. You'd be like, oh, dude, I'd shit like myself. Like goosebumps, like hair standing on end. It freaks me out. No, man. but like the reaction that you described, the freezing, like I think that's all you can do. Like there's there's literally, <laughs> there's so many things I'm thinking about right now. Like, oh, take the phone, you know, be like, who the fuck are you? Like, what is this shit? That kind of stuff. You know? What's <laughs> going not on? Take it. He's not a kidnapper. Guy, <laughs> he's this like guy is from Singapore. Like, who are you? Is this a prank? Like that kind of stuff. You yeah. think you do that. But when you experience something like this, you're dead set only freezing, I reckon. Remember Mino a few years ago when these guys all said, well, I'm pointing at Roe right now, that, oh, let's go on Picton Tunnel, you know, let's go, blah, blah, blah. It's not scary. And me and you respectfully said, we're not coming. You know, I know I'm a scaredy cat. I don't need to go yeah. prove anything to I'm, a ghost. I'm a pussy <laughs> and I'm gl- proud to I'm say a coward. It, and I'm not going to Picton Tunnels. And in the end, they never went. Yeah. It was all Oh, it was such a big game, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should we go to the Picton Tunnels then? Yeah, you, bo- you, you can both go, can enjoy it. Film it, take a GoPro. Be good content. Actually, yeah, listeners, let us know if you want Ro and Kush to go. <laughs> to Picton Tunnel. To Picton Tunnel. What's the story in Picton Tunnel? So Picton Tunnel is, Picton firstly is about, I want to say 50, 60 kilometers southwest of Sydney, so near Campbelltown, so about an hour and a half. Um, and it was like a little small town. And in there, there was a train tunnel that ran through it. And what had happened maybe 100, 150 years ago, a, a girl was apparently on the train tracks and she got absolutely flattened, like finished by a train. And apparently now her Do ghost- you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, times three combo on the train, yeah. right? Literally pancaked by a train. So apparently <laughs> that tunnel, so the Picton tunnel that is there, mm. um, that tunnel is now haunted well, by the ghost. Wanders the ghost. She wanders the tunnel. Apparently if you go there, you can see a little white apparition or whatever. Mana, you were telling that's us about some the, road. That's just the light at the end of the tunnel, the white apparition. Come on. Apparently it's blocked off now. They've blocked off one okay, side of the tunnel. Maybe it's not the- but that sort of stuff, like, I think I'm fine with because- Honestly, I'd go there with like, for example, you and uh, you and Migs, who are maybe a bit scared. Oh, I'm not okay, you're going alone. <laughs> no, but then, but then, like, you kind of like scare them up a little bit. Like people who go there who are you know are a bit hesitant. You try to like you yeah, try and yeah, really yeah. get them scared. Like that's fun for me. Well, but- the f- very first video of Spanion I ever watched was when he went to Picton Tunnel, mm. and he was scared as well. And he took like he burnt some sage and took some <laughs> rosary beads and everything. And he tried to, oos- he was literally telling the <laughs> ghost to come out. He was going to snap kick the ghost. But in the end, he saw nothing and he said it was fine. So well, maybe because I've seen that, I might be more tempted to go, but. There are like a big trend or used to be at least. Like ghost in hunting. uni, who just like go to like abandoned yeah. mental institutions. You know what I mean? And like just go break in and just wander the mental asylum just yeah. to sit, just for fun. But you see, you see the, the difference between this is all like, these are all like locations where mm. it's happened. Dude, this is in a car, a phone call. That's the biggest 
that's, See, that, that's why I'm scared of that. Exactly. But like the mental institutions, Picton Tunnel, whatever the road, Migs, you were saying there's some road that you drive by and then like some girl appears oh, in your review mirror. The Wakehurst Parkway. Wakehurst Parkway. That's some, don't involve me with that. Bro. That was me the other night. Okay, yeah. So there's, yeah, the thing is we were standing outside Chubby Buns and there was a cemetery literally opposite Chubby Buns. Yeah. That's how this all came up. <laughs> but, but that stuff, no dramas, but the, the so phone wait, calls. This is a right. real life thing that happened to someone we knew. What happened after that? So like the call happened and then he was like, what did you do? Like you spat at a cemetery, right? Then what happened next? About, I think he just like told off his cousin for why'd you take, sorry, so he told off the guy. It's like, yeah. why'd you take your cousin? You need to like, you shouldn't be disrespecting the cemetery like that, blah, blah, blah. And he just told him off essentially. Okay. Stepping on graves and spinning at a cemetery feels like the wrong thing to do. Just oh, absolutely. But, That's, that is kind of crazy. But the fact that he was shook already. Yeah. The fact he knew that. Yeah, that is, whoo. Scary stuff. All right, what's the next horror story? Let's, let's continue. Continue the train. <laughs> I, I actually do have a horror story. Here we go. That Here happened we go. last Here we go. night. Or you forget your wallet or something. <laughs> so I was at a um a pub in Neutral Bay called The Oaks. We were watching the footy. And uh, the situation was like, we're in a booth. And then there was not a lot of seats. So these two kind of like older gentlemen, like maybe 50 years old, were like, oh, can we sit next to you? They sat next to us. And for the next, I'm going to say 90 minutes or 80 minutes, however long the game was, these guys yapped my ear off <laughs> about their Vegas trip. So they're like diehard footy fans. They went to Vegas no. and they're like Manly supporters. So they went to Vegas to watch Manly versus whoever they, Rabbitohs or something, I think is what yeah. they were saying. Um, they were extremely drunk. And before the Vegas trip, they went to Thailand and then proceeded to discuss about the, I guess, how do I say this in a nice way? Extracurriculars. Extracurriculars when it comes to women. They, they used to stay, they were like sitting at the bar and apparently they were giving me the download of how to uh, attract prostitutes. Oh, they're stimulating the economy. Well, you could say that. <laughs> Their economy was getting stimulated. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the first ever time that I had met, like, you know how there's the stereotypes of like these white blokes who will go to Thailand yeah, 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 to pick yeah. up like Thai women. This is the first time I met guys who were into that and they were like very loud and proud about it. Then they were comparing the prostitution scene in Thailand versus Vegas. They were saying apparently he, he got... He slept with one of the blackjack dealers. And in Thailand, this would have cost him $10. In Vegas, it's cost him $2,000. $10 is what he said. Is the going rate. 10 to 50 is what he said was the going rate in Thailand. What the hell? Jesus Christ, dude. I've had meals that are more expensive. <laughs> well, than that's what he was complaining about. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, right? So it was me and a mate of mine. And we were like chatting with him, just being like, kind of mocking him for paying for sex, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, or don't tell me that you know you're not paying. You take a girlfriend to Neutral Bay Oaks Hotel, you're paying two hundred dollars as well. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it's the same thing, man. <laughs> How old were these guys? They're like fifty. Oh, this is another thing. They're both in their fifties, and I asked them how they knew each other. And they said they went to high school together. Oh, they went to Shaw. Uh. And um, <laughs> I had like a little flashback into the future. I'm like. Is because we all went to high school together as well. Yeah, but we didn't go to a privileged private school. No, yeah. but but I was just thinking like, I don't know. They they like old you, blokes still hanging out with the same people, nah, just having you, a laugh. Oh, oh, yeah, how fair. little do you think of us? No, no I don't. And there's nothing wrong with that in in yeah. isolation yeah. of you hanging out with your high school mates at fifty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's all this extracurricular nonsense. Also, Darius, just going to shore as well doesn't really mean that you're going to be a sex pest at fifty either. That is true. Anyways, then he started pulling out his vape and then was just vaping inside the pub. So then there, there, there was that. Did he have it? Were these guys married? I assume not. Okay. Yeah, dude. Because I asked him, do you have a family? And then his mate beside me was like, we don't talk about that. So mm. I think he was married. That's yeah, the thing. Well, that, 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 you reckon? that all checks oh, out. There was a wedding ring on the finger, mate. I was having oh. a scan. This is a pretty sad existence. I'm not going to lie. I, don't, I feel bad for judging these people I've never met, but this is a pretty... How are you going way to see out your days? You know what? Uh, there's, there's something wholesome and nice about the fact that they went to Vegas to, you know, engage in the passion of like NRL, but yeah. uh, all that you... other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Is the one where it's like, come on, man. That's the sad part. I think that I agree with the set on. You know, when old blokes, like this is the thing we're talking to really old, like especially um, Caucasian fellows, they love to just laugh at every sentence. Yeah, so like, dude. they'll just say anything. They'll be like, and then we went to Vegas and they'll be like, <laughs> and like oh, I'm like, I don't know what's funny, but it was actually a comedy routine. Like they just went back to back to back. 
<laughs> they just laughed at every single sentence that they said. It's actually so true. I never thought about that, but you're right. Yeah, like, right. You're talking to Caucasians, it's just oh. Well, especially when they're older, and like, and and some of the stuff that they were saying were actually very, very funny. Like really rude, but like yeah, kind of yeah, funny. Yeah. But like uh, the, the banter between them was just honestly comical. I you're probably say. not the first people that have told yeah, these, I was gonna these, say, these tales. Man. They practiced a few times. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It seems a bit sad. No, it was very sad. Like okay. I, I got a little glimpse into the future, and yeah. I was just like, "Dude, uh, it's a path you don't want to take." Please though. don't lead me down this path because nah. it seems like a very sad, sad life. The thing is, all they could talk about was basically like the footy, the footy, and like how much sex they were having in Vegas and Thailand. I'm like, anything else? But then he did tell me he played cricket for New South Wales, and I respected him <laughs> like very highly for that. Someone we know is it famous? No, no. He he played with Mark and Steve Waugh. Do you recognize the name? Did he give you a name? What do you mean? Did you find out his no, name? No, I didn't ask the battle originally. So he name. could have just said, he was just telling you a lie. No, then. no, because he went to the bathroom and his mate, I was talking to his mate, who was like a bit more reasonable of the two. And he was like, oh, he's pretty good at cricket, like this and that. So I asked him like, oh, apparently you play cricket. Um, and he was like, yeah, yeah, I played a bit, you know, for New South Wales back in the day. But then he went on about how t- if he was in the, if he was playing New South Wales cricket now, he would have made heaps of money playing T20 cricket. <laughs> Because he was like a battler in, you know, he wasn't good, yeah, but he's still right. good enough to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if we searched up players in New South Wales, Mark or Steve, or you reckon you could find. I, I was looking. I looked yeah, for get some it. squad photos. Yeah. I looked um, for sure alumni who played cricket, yeah. but the Wikipedia page only shows people who played for Australia. Australia. Yeah, 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 they don't have the, the New South Wales players. But uh, it's a horror story in itself. I spent 80 <laughs> minutes with this guy just talking my year off. All right, we're moving on to a game. It's called Hints, or Hinter is Coming, or The Hinter, the words that we thought about before this segment. But um, the first time I've prepared a game in a Yeah, <laughs> a very I was going to say, you can't lose this one. Yeah, no danger. In fact, I've prepared it so that there is only one winner, <laughs> and that is The Hinter himself. It's been weeks of, bro, can you do this week? <laughs> Sen, can you do this week? Migs, can you do this week? With uh, me also saying that I will do it. Yeah, but obviously I can't. Things, you know, life happens. But anyway, we're going to play got the, the game. game. We've got the game. It's called Hints. So essentially... I'm going to give you guys nine hints and there are three unique words that you have to guess out of the nine hints. I'll mm. give you them in order. So it'll be three hints for one word, three hints for the next word, three hints for the last word. And these are just no theme to the words, just no gen- general knowledge or whatever. General knowledge, you know, it might be tough. It might be quite easy. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But Mix, I'm going to start with you first. All right, this is for the first word. I'm going to give you three hints. Agent. Can I guess per hint? Does, it, does that influence my points? Well, you only hint? have nine, nine hints. I'm going to give you nine hints. You only have nine guesses as well for the three words. I don't know. That's all right. Um, I. Just I. Plain old I. Do you know where this is going? I was thinking like, for some reason I thought Agent Orange. So I would have gone like orange for the first clue. I, this is taking me for a doozy. Do you have any idea? No idea. No idea. Um, hmm. James Bond. That is unfortunately incorrect, but I can move on to the next one. James Bond. <laughs> 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 Agent... I, I, James Bond. Don't go too specific. These are broad words, you know? Mm. But agent, I, James Bond, that seems very specific. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like it a does. generic <laughs> word that- It is a specific but broad word, if that makes sense. All right, so that was the last hint for your first round, Mig. So you now need to guess what this word may be. Gold. Incorrect, unfortunately. What was it? What is it? It was spy. I went uh, through my head as well. What's I? I spy. I spy. <sighs> oh man, James you, were you saying I like the letter I? Yeah, I was thinking uh, of I was thinking the, the actual oh, the iris, yeah, yeah. the pupil, and yeah. all that. That is tough to decipher. No, no, I is also I. I is I. I is I. Oh, well, spy. Zero to me. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna move on to row now. Row. I'm gonna give you three hints for your first word. Yep. Sport. Tennis. Wrong. Cause. What? Cause. C A U S E. I have sentence? I have a cause. Sport, cause. I'm gonna say injury. Oh, incorrect. Last one, Wilson. It's a racket. <laughs> That's tennis. Any any danger of do you guys know anything? Wilson, I'll say it's a, it's got a capital W. It's a, it's a last name. It's a hint for a hint. There you go. I'm just oh. thinking Harry Wilson plays to... for Fulham. Yeah, monkey with the symbols in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of clues are these? I'm sorry. I feel like you'll get them at the end once you realize what it is. But Sport, 
called? Do, do you want a little help? Maybe. Do you know Maybe. what? Is the Wilson you're referring to that fucking volleyball with the blood on it? That's no, what I Wilson thought. is a last that's, yeah. name of a celebrity. Oh, oh, I thought it was Tom Hanks in Castaway. Yeah, that's the, where <laughs> I thought that was because that's on a volleyball, no? Wilson. <laughs> Okay, so Wilson, does it, I couldn't even tell oh. you a celebrity Wilson. James Wilson? Owen Wilson. James Wilson. Yeah, wow, Manchester World of Warcraft. That's my guess. That's yes, no, the answer was Rebel. Rebel oh. Sport, Rebel Wilson, Rebel Without a Cause, my friend. Oh. We're joining the words a bit too much. Yeah. Okay. We gotta remember the hints relate to the main word, not necessarily each, each other. other. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm Crazy. saying. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now Sen has an advantage, bro. First nah, round, he gets a little get tidbit. It, I've still got the monkeys. With the <laughs> All right, Sen, here we go. School. <laughs> Woo! He's got that wrong. Uh, okay, thank God. All right, <laughs> Class. Teacher. That is correct. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> as simple as that for me. Mine, mine was a lot easier than yours. <laughs> Rebel and. <laughs> to be fair, Rebel Sport, Rebel Wilson. Come on. James yeah. Bond is a massive hint as well. <laughs> All yeah, right, anyway, okay. Migs. Okay. Your next word Studio. He's looking around. He's it's looking an around. Our studio. Um, House. Music. Wrong. Wiseo. Who? It's another uh, last name. Spell? What? W I S E A U. <laughs> Wiseo. Or Wiseo? Wiseo? You pronounce it last I think name. it's Wizo, isn't Wizo. it? Wizo. Wizo. I'm this blank look. Okay. It's the last time I remember. Maybe. I don't think you may have gotten that. I one, did not. Everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Does that help you anyway? <laughs> What the you ain't, you ain't, you ain't these quotes? What the Come fuck on, you bro. neeks going on about? <laughs> I don't know, Kanye West. No. Um, you definitely know this. Ben. Yeah. I, I did not hit her. Yeah. It is not true. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Just, no, we're quoting okay. the movie. Think about Ben in the studio. Those are your probably greatest hints right now. <laughs> really? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You, you know it. You know I it. don't fucking know it's Rocky. No, the answer is room. room Bedroom, studio brother. room, and Tommy Wiseau from the movie The Room. Room. The room. Sure, these the guys worst, were quoting. The worst movie of all time. <laughs> you haven't seen those memes? Oh, I did not hit her. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. I've never Move seen Mick so confused, bro. <laughs> Move on. I just rattled him. All right. <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah. Snort. Mm. Mm. He seems targeted. <laughs> oh my, why are you smiling, bro? Right? Seems motivated. Why'd you lick your lips? <laughs> Drugs. Wrong. Okay. Hand. Okay, this is not. I would have liked Tommy Wiseau's The Room Clue <laughs> yeah, here. That would have been a nice one to get. Snort. Uh, body? No, incorrect. Water bottle. Snort, you do with your nose. Water bottle, you drink with your mouth. Think of the motivated part. That's another hint for you. Okay. I'm thinking cocaine. Yeah. What else are we thinking? Uh, I have no, I've literally zero right, clue. Check I'm going to drugs. It was bag. Bag. Snort? And bag. Uh, what the hell is? Uh, water bottle. Yeah, water Put bottle. Put a water bottle in a bag. Simple as nah, that. What the hell is this? That's as simple as that. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> what game are we playing? How many steps? <laughs> No way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not inside your head. <laughs> I can't think of these things. <laughs> okay, to be fair, handbag. You could have got that. You could have got that. Snort bag. I thought you would have easily got it with cocaine because you said that the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a bottle in the bag. <laughs> And now I realize why I don't prepare games. <laughs> oh my god, this guy can't play or prepare. Uh, that's not. Like, uh, oh, the bottle. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> You've stitched me up there, my friend. I should have said something even more ridiculous. Oh, oh. That's the funniest thing. Wow. Oh Okay. Oh, for life's about boys moments. This reminds me of- what? I could have put like duffel or a satchel or something. Maybe that could have- That might have been That's much easier. better. Yeah. Yeah. These are code names where you're trying to link like 10 yeah, words is, together and you is. chuck some what random one. Okay, all right. <laughs> I realized because I was reading through this, I wrote water and I was like, I don't know what water has any relation to bag. I was like, maybe water bottle. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Okay, all right, all right. All right, um, all right, it's said, here we go. Spring. Trampoline. Oh, holiday. 
spring holiday. Maybe Japan. Oh, mm. golf. Think about a type of vacation, maybe. Golf goes into a bag as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll say Hawaii. It's a resort. Oh. Should have gone broader. Should have gone broader. All right. Uh, we'll do one more round. Crazy. Frog. Locked. Locked? Locked. Jail. Prison. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right track. Stick Crazy synonyms out. Locked prison. A psychopath. Oh, asylum. <laughs> I was I was gonna say asylum. Oh, I was gonna oh, say it. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Um, so Mig's on zip. Sen's on one. one. <laughs> Because I really, I really get one nil. <laughs> <laughs> Bag. <laughs> Water. Wait, are we serious? Yes. Okay. Backpack. No, weed. Bruv. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? <laughs> maybe, maybe weighing scale? Greed. Oh, I'll give you a hit. Of greed. Does that help? Oh, is it pot? Yes, oh, there you go. Oh, pot oh, of well greed. Done. Well done, bro. Well done. <laughs> It's currently banned Wait. in the recent Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. One you said? Bag. I just used the synonym from the last one. Uh, That's it. Well, let's okay. still do one more. Set right? one more. All right. Bodies. Dexter. Cemetery. Hang on. Did you just come up with these? Are you coming up with these on the spot right now? <laughs> I know. I'm not coming up. <laughs> that is actually kind of creepy. I did this before. Oh, exactly. Actually, yeah. dude, that's kind of scary. That is. You didn't know someone was going to tell this story. No, I had no idea. So what did you say? Bodies and cemetery. Undertaker. Shovel. Uh, we'll say grave. It was burying. Damn it. What? Burying. Burying. Oh, burying. 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 All right. That is the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. To quote Ro, what are we doing here? <laughs> Maybe we should have gone down that path, but then I had to prepare like 100 synonyms of a word, which well, is impossible. Like, who's just guaranteed himself never to prepare a game again, really? <laughs> yes. So who's the real winner? <laughs> yeah. Moving on to another segment. This time not prepared by me, uh, prepared by our listeners. Overrated, underrated. Been a while since we've done this, fellas. Uh, but literally, we're just going to rattle through all the listener submissions for overrated, and then every single one for underrated. <laughs> they may not have any correlation. Let's just let's just figure it out. All right. All right, so I'm going to start with all the submissions under overrated. I'm going to go with the first one, and boys, you just tell me. It's overrated or mm-hmm. underrated? All right. So, so Kyle says vaping. Is overrated. Boys, you've all got your whiteboards. I've got my little um, buzzer, so there will be a sound <laughs> alongside it as well. But tell me in three seconds. Three, two, one. I've gone perfectly rated. Okay. Oh, I've gone. Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I think overrated as well. I think it's overrated. Yeah. All right. Let's hear your thoughts. And why do you think it's perfectly rated? I don't think anyone thinks vaping is under or over. Like, it, I think it's at this point, rated by everyone who does it, and then those who don't do it just don't care. Maybe I'm confusing the addiction with highly rating. Yeah, I think Because that's it's it so is. prevalent and people love it, but maybe they're just addicted to vapes. But I feel like the people who made a big deal about vaping, like that that kind of phase is gone now. No, I think, I think it's overrated because people, like if you compare it to cigarettes, that's what I'm comparing it to, right? Right. So like people who don't smoke cigarettes, they're like, I vape because it's healthier. I'm like, uh, I don't know if it's healthy. We just is don't it? know about the yeah. negative- you know, health ramifications so far. What did you put, Kush? I said overrated as well. I I just have this core like memory of at a night out and then this oh, vape being go. passed around between like five people. Mm. Same mango vape just being puffed by the different lips. Gotta say it's kind of yuck. And that to me made always vaping is overrated. See, but I think that, that time has passed. I feel like it's not done that this, commonly. This like, was last Saturday, who... my friend. This was last Saturday. Right, never mind then. <laughs> the fact that it's so prevalent in schools, there I suggest overrated. To... Oh, the the kids it. love it, dude. Dude, the kids love the yeah, mango flavor. I'm telling you, underrated. strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like imagine this, right? You as like a 12, 13 year old kid, or maybe in your you're in high school, so let's say 13 to 16, right? Some bloke passes on some magic vapor that tastes like fruits <laughs> and also gives you a little bit of a head rush. Okay. I think those kids would be ravenous for yeah, the vapes. They would be. They, they would, would be. Imagine that. You're just sitting in class, and it's also the escapism. Like we we would I would use like phones. And be like, oh, this is super fun. Like, I'd go out of class to play games or I'd play, you know, games under my pencil case when the yeah. teacher's not looking. Sack the phones off, boys. Now it's who can puff the most without getting noticed by the teacher. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> that was wild. That, that was gesture wild. was sick. Sorry, <laughs> come on now. Don't be rude. All right. Well, that makes sense. We're going to move on to the next one. Pearl says the culture of constant self-improvement is overrated. <laughs> well, we chatted about this last week, didn't we? Well, well, remember well when, how about you first just Yeah, let's it. put our boards up first. Yeah, and then okay. we'll have a yap away straight away. <laughs> yeah, man. dude. All the Japanese, man. All right. Three, two, one. 
What do we got? Sen? Underrated. Oh. Overrated. Big time overrated. Ooh, Why? Okay, here we it's go. ruining lives and mental health and everything, dude. This constant need for improvement and everything. But she said self-improvement. It yeah. doesn't matter. You, the, the mental pressure and pressure you put on yourself to always feel like you have to be improving. It's too much. You're comparing yourself with yourself. Doesn't matter. You shouldn't always compare regardless. You the, should be happy with what you have sometimes. The thing that I have against like self-improvement, that's a crazy statement to say. <laughs> But like a lot of people like to watch videos and read about self-improvement, but they don't actually self-improve. They don't yeah. do it. But like yeah. the actual act of like watching a YouTube video and like, oh, I, I should do that. That makes in itself makes you feel good. Mm. But it's like in reality, nothing. It doesn't make sense. You like the idea of it rather than actually doing it. Mm. Yeah. So like a lot of people I feel like get into the, the thing of self-improvement where they just like watch all like Ali Abdal on YouTube or- <laughs> Captain Sinbad, whoever the latest like influencer is. Yeah. But like that's just to make themselves feel good without actually doing it. But I think it. the idea of it isn't overrated. Well, what was the exact like constant? Yeah, yeah actually, when, I didn't pick up that word, but constant self-improvement, I would agree that is overrated. Constant to me. Because you're always, your mind is always in a state of, I have to do better. I always have to do better. If I don't do better, I'm a failure that day. That's what it is. Uh, and Mix is right. Sometimes just. He and like just, just plain and simple, not everyone's special. I mean, that's that Michael Jordan Mamba mentality. But, yeah, but you can not, always be better. Yeah, but if everyone thinks like Michael Jordan, everyone's going to be depressed because not everyone's Michael Psychos, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like what you said, Kush. I'm big on the contentment, mate. Because yeah. sometimes if you, if you feel like you need to constantly self improve, then like, are you ever happy? Like, you're just reaching for this tree that grows taller How every single day. How can you even day. know that you're happy? You know? Just, just live, live it. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're always going to focus on things you can improve, not the things you're good at. But in saying the... that, there is obviously self improvement is obviously a good thing. You know yeah, what I mean? Obviously. Like if you if you identify an area of your life that you need improvement on, then go ahead, go for it. Like maybe you want to be more empathetic. Yes, improve on that every day. But like, I think everyone needs to relax. You know, it doesn't need to be so structured and formal. Agreed. All right, we're going to go to the next one. We've got actually two or three that submitted the same one. Um, marriage. Marriage is overrated. Name and shame them. Who, no, said, no, we who said this? We won't name and shame, okay, but there, there are two or three here that have said it. So let's. They let's, said it's overrated. They said it is overrated. <sighs> so let's give our answers here in three, two, one. Sent. I think it's perfectly it's, rated. <laughs> it's, oh, wait, Kush picked up one of them. No, 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 no. no. I, I was about to say, I'm going to hit both of them at the same time. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. But <laughs> what? Oh, how, how is it overrated? Marriage is what you make of it. One, one person gave a little bit of an elaboration. Yeah, go on. Way too much for only a few hours. So weddings, yes, weddings are overrated. I agree with that. Oh, but you marriage know? as the institution, okay. yeah. As someone as who is fairly monogamous, <laughs> I think like for me, it's perfectly rated. Right, right, let's talk. Let's talk about both. Okay, marriage by we'll, itself. We'll start with marriage. This the discussion is marriage. Of marriage. Is it overrated or underrated? I mean, you, I talked to the blokes at the pub. Apparently, it's very overrated for them. <laughs> I think it's perfectly. It's rated. perfectly I'll rated. Agree, it's perfectly rated. Perfectly rated. Okay, weddings. weddings. All right, let's let's do it again for weddings. Let's do it right, right, right. weddings. All right, overrated, underrated. Give me your answers in three, two, one. Send. Underrated. Overrated. Overrated. Oh. I've gone. Overrated I love as weddings, well. dude. They're so fun. I love as, attending weddings as a goer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, like as a, as a goer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, none of us have had to plan our own ones yet, so mm. I, maybe my answer might change by but then. Even still, but in in concept. I would rather someone spend money on going on a big boy holiday for themselves than mm. spend tens of thousands on other yeah, people. It's go, a, if it's a goer, I think it's underrated as well. Yeah, it's like a the, goer, yeah. It's the best fun you can have, I think. As, as an, a, for free. <laughs> as an actual <laughs> concept, like you think about, you know, a cake is 50 bucks. Wedding cake, 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I, I agree Decorations, with $100. Wedding decorations, $1,000. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Do you know what I'm saying? So really, but as a guest though, it is one of the dude. funnest things you can go. Food, dessert, dances, drinks. alcohol. Come Ooh. on, man. No, Fuck. as a guest, because it's like, yeah, it's the best part of like going to a club. But Correct. instead of the randoms, sack the randoms off. You it's all your friends, people yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and the DJ is playing like really your music, and, and you, you know can't get yeah. kicked out. So it's a win-win. Sometimes, sometimes you can, but we we won't go into that. <laughs> next one. <laughs> next one. The original J One M One says Spotify Premium. Overrated. So let's give out answers here. Three, two, one, ten. Underrated, but I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry. <I can't> you... <laughs> what did you say? Underrated. Yeah, underrated. yeah. But yeah. I don't use Spotify Premium, so I'm just gonna extend that to Apple Music. And I'm gonna paid say streaming services. Paid streaming services. Yeah. So I'm gonna say underrated. Underrated. Always, man. Any sort of paid streaming service. Dude, the wealth of content you have there. Okay. No, 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 Sorry. no. If we're no. saying that phrase, a lot of overrated. Oh, I don't think so. I think streaming services are, are underrated. You're a movie buff. That's why. Like that's for me, why, Netflix yeah. is trash. I literally, yeah. Okay, we're not talking about Netflix. Yeah. Spotify for me, underrated 100%. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to hear the ads in between music. Fuck that. And the dollar cost and benefit is, say, is uh, unreal. It's like what? Well, I'm on a family plan, so I pay peanuts to the. Yeah, I think the everyone's dollar. on the family plan. And how plan. many how many minutes are you spending per month? Probably a couple hundred thousand. There's nothing worse so if I go, you know someone gets the orcs, play two songs, bang, ad. No, I don't even know anyone who doesn't. No, no, have no a I was going to say version. at this point everyone has it. So like, I, I cannot. I think Spotify make their product their free product so bad <laughs> that like everyone pays for the paid stuff. And the reason why I say it's also Andre is because I remember back in the day the labor I had to do to get. A playlist of 30 songs that I wanted oh, to listen on the go. Time, yeah. To download 30 songs. And then if I wanted, you know, any sort of metadata, I have to put in myself. <laughs> Whereas now, man, I just, it's all at my fingertips. YouTube to MP3 was the best app. You just download the- X2 the- YouTube to MP3, 320 KBPS for the high quality. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, it's a nightmare. If you're talking about all streaming services, Kush, I, how, how can you agree with that? I I still think this, to me, I'm finding more and more content. Mm. I would not be paying for them monthly though. For me, it's like a one month use, get rid of, come back to it maybe like in six months time. Okay. Oh, That's what I would be doing. Okay. But like, I think that usage is underrated. I am sailing the high seas a lot these days. What does that mean? <laughs> where, where are you going? I'm pirating. You, is the pirate base still out? Like, I thought it was done. As in, the like, concept. Just the so concept. Okay. Like, I'm watching Sorry. stuff not on the streaming side. I'm watching on, like, Couch Tune. One, two, three movies. One, two, three movies. That's yeah. sort of I don't do that. Anyone I listening do out that there, well. no. Piracy is a crime. Piracy is a crime. crime. You wouldn't steal a car. Yeah, you wouldn't download a boat. <laughs> also, if any listeners are out there, I have one month of being sport that I accidentally paid for. So if anyone wants that, let me know. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to the next one. Tiara says, drinking, brackets, alcohol, just seems expensive and is used as a social lubricant. Overrated. So answers here: one, two, underrated, three. <laughs> underrated, as underrated, well. highly overrated. One of the most overrated things in society. Nah, nah, so underrated. just a little bit of fun is alright. Exactly. It's over glorified, mate. It's okay. way over glorified. You think you said underrated? Why? So underrated. Any work event, bang, give me a drink and I'm good to go. Free alcohol. Yeah. To me, free alcohol is as used as a social lubricant, mate. Underrated. Dude, I'll talk Come to on. anyone if you give me one or two <laughs> drinks, bro. I'm good to go. Yeah, what about you, Euro? You, you seem quite heavily in there. No, me and Marnie so. don't drink, like, really. So yeah. I think it's overrated. I, I feel like my personality sober and with a couple of drinks in me, for me, is identical. Like, it's exactly yeah, the but same. But your personality when you're hungry and not hungry is very <laughs> different. That's Jekyll and Hyde stuff. <laughs> if Ro <laughs> is a bit rogue on an episode, he's hungry. That's all you need to know. <laughs> but, like, I think for me personally, as, like, a personal choice, right? Yeah. My personality, I don't need, really need it as a social lubricant, in my opinion. For me, like, the personality is the same. Really, I'm just ingesting calories. And it's also like not drinking for me. Finally, I like the weight of thought has gone out of my mind. It's like, I never have to plan. How am I getting home for an event? I never have to go through this like ring and roll of am I driving? Am I catching the bus? Like whatever. Very simple life that I live these days. Yeah. I just think over glorified in, in, in the media. You don't need a man. Vent shit. If you can't talk to people, you can't talk to people. It is what it is. All right. We're going to move on to the next one. That Chewy has yep. given us a couple of locations which are overrated. Newtown and Bondi are overrated. What are our thoughts here on Newtown and Bondi? They're very different places. Yeah. Yeah, Why don't we do say. first one? Let's yeah, let's take them separately. Let's so do first. Newtown. Newtown. All right. Well, in three, two, one, Sen? I think it's perfectly rated. I think it is underrated. I think it's overrated. I slightly underrated. I think, I think everyone now knows how good Newtown is. Like, I don't think it's underrated. I don't think it's overrated. At this point, you know what you're getting when you go to Newtown. Some good food, some culture, some bars. I still think there's a, a wealth of good food and bars and culture that we haven't uncovered. Newtown. Uh, yeah, That's I so. think for how much it has to offer, it's not talked about enough. Exactly. I think it's talked about enough. I would agree with that. I think it's, I mean, to be fair, my experience, I parked there one time, I got fined. <laughs> Is that why it's overrated? Um, it's very overrated <laughs> for me. <laughs> But, uh, and it's just one strip. Like, I don't know. It's just one street. You go down King Street. You go through the bars. It's like a nice area. I'm not going to say it's bad, but mm. I, it Fair is what enough. it is. And what right. was the next one? We talked about Bondi now. And Bondi, right. give us your answers in three, two, one, cent. Overrated. Overrated. Underrated. Yeah. You said Newtown is one street. So is Bondi. No, nah, I, bon- I think the beach is always underrated. I think you can... You can have, well, what's that look, Sam? Yeah, the beach as a concept, yeah. I would agree. But Bondi Beach? Come on, man, it's overrated. Nah, nah. Bondi, look, I can understand your perceptions and your opinions, right? We all know where this is heading. A little bit of hate towards the, the clientele <laughs> of Bondi, potentially. Oh, no, you- No way! No what are you talking about? 
I was going to say it's packed like yeah. sardines. That's why I wouldn't want to go to Bondi I was going to say it's far away. Mate, what <laughs> other restaurants can you get where you're overlooking the beautiful Bondi Beach? Not a lot. Well, it's pretty fucking hard. There's only one Bondi Beach. <laughs> so not many restaurants can do that. Or just a beach in general. It's very rare. And you got Coogee, say, Manly. Yeah, you got Manly, the Stain, whatever. <laughs> the Stain. Yeah, look, I think Bondi is a great place. Okay. And I'm just going to put that. I'm not there. denying it's great. Yeah, but it's overrated, overrated as fuck. Why is it overrated? There's better beach. But didn't um, Motorvale Beach get named in the best beaches in the world? Yeah, but they're chucking a UK beach out there in the top five. Come yeah, on. That list means nothing. Motorvale's a great beach. But Bondi, dude, why does everyone hate Bondi Beach? No, it's because a good it's so, beach. There's so much so, hype. There is so, it's like the place, one of the three places people know Sydney for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a not, it, trap. I don't think it um, justifies that compared to the fact we have so many other great beaches. No, there are other beaches. We talked about this before. Bondi is close to the city. Like, obviously, there are other beaches on the northern. So is Coogee. I'd rather go to Coogee. Okay. Well, that's just. I'd rather uh, go to Brighton than Bondi. There you go. How about that one? Don't say that. That's actually a dead set <laughs> lie. You got to admit that's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah, the jet skis out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We went to the last one for overrated, and then we'll go into underrated. Bros85 says iced coffees are overrated. What are our thoughts here in three, two, one, Zen? Underrated. Underrated too. I don't drink coffee. I have no enough, nothing to so. give here. I'm going overrated. All right, it's, the, it's the culture around iced coffee. It's too much for everyone and their dog is showing up to work with an iced coffee in hand and it all of a sudden it's like a fashion statement. It's a little accessory. I mean, iced coffee in a hot day. On a hot day, Zen? it's beautiful. Oh, it gives it's you a little nice. coffee boost. I'm not denying that. I'm not denying it's a... Good little product. You think it's the culture? It's around. the hype around an iced coffee. The fact that it has now become a personality to have an iced coffee. It ain't all that. I've gone the other way. I've actually, I'm an ice matcha man now. Oh. There's a campus in Barangaroo that does a beautiful ice matcha. <laughs> Wowee. <laughs> On a hot day. <laughs> oh, lovely. Aren't ice uh, coffees more expensive than regular coffees? The only extra ingredient is ice. Yeah, mate, because it costs the business a couple hundred bucks to run the ice machine. Correct. They got to incur that cost into the. The product. Madness though, you're right. Okay. Doesn't right. make sense to me. Dude, I paid seven dollars just quickly for a um a soda water. What? What? Yeah, at, at the Edda. They charge you seven dollars for, for a soda bottle? water. No, for a glass of no. soda water and lime, seven dollars. Bro, I no. don't think they do. That's not Actually, that, that's no. literally not right. At the um bar at IMAX, they charge six fifty for a soda water. Yeah, but that's the IMAX. No, but, but no, soda water's just right. no, soda water is just water. That, that cost seven dollars <laughs> can't be right. It can't be right. No, no, no. I'm I'm outraged at the fact that I'm having to pay for this at all. No, I can justify paying for it. <laughs> yeah, it should be like four or five bucks. I say it'd be less. It should be like three dollars. I think it should, it should be, be seven. <laughs> yeah. No, combination is not free, brother. It's not free. Mm, okay, all right, sorry. <laughs> I've derailed this a little bit. Next one, quick. All right. We're now moving to underrated. Underrated okay. section of the day. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We got one person here, Sanu says critical banter is underrated. We don't need to talk too much about there that. There was like five people who said that. Yeah, it was actually, but it was on both sides. I saw some say <laughs> overrated, some say underrated. So in the end, our boy Sanu here. perfectly rated. Yeah, kind of overrated. We'll go with uh, David Us 73 says Uniqlo is underrated. What are our thoughts here? Three, two, one, cent. Yes, big underrated. Oh. Big time underrated here, Uniqlo. Sen, give us your thoughts on why Uniqlo is underrated. It's just versatile. It's relative. Oh, actually, it's getting more and more expensive these days. But it's but the basic sense. It's, it's the, the basics. basics. I even get my work shirts there now. So I get my business shirts, my casual shirts. I've got some pants from there as well. Rose t shirt right now. I'm wearing an wow. Aerism t shirt right now. Uniqlo. It Hot has- take. If they were to say Aerisms, I would say overrated. Nah. No. What? The quality as well of the Aerisms has declined exponentially. Oh, I haven't seen since that. Since we first yeah, Exponentially got into it. is a massive over. Yeah. It has. It genuinely has. No, I don't the think material and it, has, and it bro. Yeah, it I don't has. think it has. It's on you. My Aerism t shirts have been lasting me real good. Oh, Uniqlo is what Solid. a great shop. It's what Kush said. You can get all the basics, you can get what you need. And they're Pants. all good. They look good, man. It's good quality. That's what it is. I'm going to go to Japan. Well, mate, I can't Stuck wait to get to the up. flagship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone Uniqlo at Uniqlo, sure. you want to sponsor Actually, yeah. anything? <laughs> that would be sick. I would love a Uniqlo. We're getting Aerisms monthly in different colors. Oh. What's Ooh. Roger Federer? We talked about Roger Federer's Uniqlo deal. That's a little 300 mil or Man, something we'll like that. We'll take cents on the dollar of that if anyone's listening. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the next one. Angus Healy says the A-League is underrated. What are our thoughts here? And this is really only two people, but Sen, let's, let's see your thoughts first. The A-League, the A-League, the A-League. Oh, we've got a bit, a bit of contemplation here from the fellas. So Sen's put in underrated? Has he? I'll Mims. say underrated. Okay. Um, I'll go underrated. I'll go underrated. I'll go All right, underrated. so you both of you agree here. Why, Mix? The reason I'll go underrated is because most football fans in Australia don't pay a single eye to the A-League. Yeah. They've watched, you know, Premier League, 
Champions League, etc. The A League's not bad. It's not. No. Gr- I'm not saying it's great. No. But why do people not watch A League? Because like it's not as good as the Premier League. It's a bit stinky. You don't have the star players. Mm, dare I say then it shouldn't be underrated. No, it's underrated the fact that no one even watches. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, like the bar, the bar is, the bar is the really low. <laughs> When's the last time you watched an A-League match, bro? Uh, I don't think- uh, I don't think I've ever watched an A-League No, I've watched match. a handful, but it would have been like back in the day when Western Sydney Wanderers first came on the scene. I was going to say, that's probably the peak of the A-League was around 2014, when The Sydney Derby was actually a spectacle to watch. Yeah. Whereas now I think attendance is low. The police, the police are beefing like all yeah, the I saw fans that. and shit. They're killing the sport. Exactly, but it's still worth watching. It's just, I don't think anyone watches There's it. still good players that come out of the A-League. So like yeah. there's guys that have come out of the A-League that got signed for like Bayern Munich, for example, like the biggest club in Germany. Yeah. So like there's still talent there. So and there's something about supporting the local club. There's something, yeah. you know, a little fanism there. The office that I work at is a co-working space and the A-League does the co-working there as well. Mate, every time I go into the office, no one, no one from the A-League is there. <laughs> But it's just it's just they're an empty playing, shell. Bro. They're all playing out in the field. <laughs> no, no, the blokes, the, the marketing guys, no one's there. It really shows in the marketing <laughs> endeavors. <laughs> say. Clock some hours in, boys. All right, now we've got um the original J one M one. He's back with underrated, and he says Timu. Timu is underrated. I feel like Ro, you're a big Timu person, but let's let's hear our answers. Sen three, two, one. Overrated. I'm gonna go overrated as well. It's overrated, dude. No, it's underrated. The fact that it hasn't look. Okay, obviously the working conditions of the people who are producing these products is terrible. Let's just put that to one side. Yeah. Okay. Sure, let's... I'll just forget about all of that. Yeah, right. I'm, please, I'm asking you to forget about that because if you do remember that, then obviously there's a different answer, okay? But the, the price of the products for the quality is actually spectacular. And like, you think it's crap. You think it it's is. Crap, but it's not. Dude, I literally bought all these like nifty gadgets, like AirPods cleaners I bought from Timu. I bought these like little Tupperware containers from Timu. I'm going to buy Spike Ball from Timu. Timu might be the <laughs> most used website on my phone right now. It's Seth. all shit you just don't need, bro. No, yeah, okay. Obviously there's a lot of stuff on there and if you buy stuff that you don't need, you don't need it. But I'm buying stuff that I do need. And the fact is I'm getting the stuff that I do, that I do need for under $10. Isn't it just a massive data harvest for the CCP? It is, man. Mate, so is TikTok and we're on that deluxe. And I'm a massive fan of it. <laughs> yeah. We love ByteDance. We love- <laughs> Actually, who owns Timu? Uh, I don't know, Tencent or something probably. Oh, massive shout out to them actually. You know what? <laughs> Underrated <laughs> Timu, let's go. Timu, give us a sponsor, please. It's not, and it's not widespread. The thing is like, for example, remember Uber Eats when they first came on the scene, they were giving out discounts deluxe to get people on the app. And then once everyone was on the app, then they raise the prices. Here's your service fee. Here's your delivery fee. Somehow I don't think Timu's doing that. I think they're just going to constantly be lowballing, and mainly because of their atrocious human rights, which <laughs> no, allows them to have such low overheads. No, they're trying to- I.e. zero overheads. No, these guys are trying to basically become Amazon, right? So they're trying to get the market Good share luck. of Amazon. And then once they've got people on Timu yeah. and hooked, that's when you're, you know- $5 Tupperware becomes $20. But they'll never be as big yeah, as Amazon. Think about this. There's three people here who aren't hooked on it. Three Dude, to one. And you really think the US- And is we, gonna... this room is representative <laughs> of the world. Yeah, it's actually 25%. You really think the US is going to allow Timu to come in and take over from Amazon? I have, to be fair, I've seen a lot of videos of like 50 year old, 60 year old white American men hooked on Timu. Like videos of their daughters, like their dad is like really looking for their Timu package. I've seen heaps of those. So yeah. it's infiltrating the market. No, it just means your TikTok algorithm <laughs> showing you TV videos, old right? Man. Nah, brother, those <laughs> videos getting lots of views, mate. No, so. but just get on. All I'm saying is this: get on Timu. It's very underrated right now. All right, now. CCP, <laughs> relax. But maybe in like what next? Watch Shen Yun or some shit. <laughs> in like a couple of years' time, I think Timu is going to blow up just quietly. <laughs> okay. To quote Row from earlier. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Shilling Timu. All right, next At a one. Cost, please let us know. Henry Lester says the Sydney tunnel system is underrated. It gets so much hate, but it can actually be so rapid. Before we vote, we're talking about like all of the Lane ones. Cove tunnel, all the yeah. tunnels, the whole system, Cross City. the Roselle one, the Correct. new M four one, M eight one. All right, let's hear your answers. I will not partake in this due to my vehicle constraints. <laughs> <laughs> but I send three, two, one. Underrated. We'll say it's underrated. So underrated. Yeah, underrated. Wow. Yes, Alignment. It, you got to pay a bit for it, but especially the new M four, M eight into the um, airport and then the Roselle one, if you know how to use it properly, <laughs> so good. It kills so much time. Roselle one's free as well. That one's free actually, yeah. But the airport one, actually a game changer. What went from like an hour and a half, now is like 40 minutes door to door from- From the West. Connecting the West to the airport, like it is a lifesaver. You don't have to worry about going on the- uh, And to be honest, West. it's only like 12 bucks. 
So in the grand scheme of things, pretty cheap. The um, cross city tunnel saves so much stress. I hate driving through the city. Mm. Having that tunnel, mate, easy days. Don't have to worry about Same making- the, the Harbour tunnel as well, not bad. Exactly, if I make one wrong left turn, I'm still good, man. But in the city, I'm going to fucking Brighton Les Sands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Devash Modi 03 says, Asai is underrated. We can keep this really quick. Yeah. We just had the Asai ball, but three, two, one, send. Underrated. <laughs> Underrated. Yeah, underrated. underrated. Asai is class. Yeah, Lift so. the lid. We have literally come back 30 minutes ago. We all four of us had an Asai fall. <laughs> yeah. Individually, no less. Beautiful. And it will remain underrated for a while. It was a 31, it's 31 degrees outside. Yeah. And a side bowl hits different, bro. It's, it's nice. good. Okay. We're going to the next one. And while this is specific, I want to, I want to expand a little bit, but Vic Head says Costco hot dogs are underrated, but I want to speak specifically about Costco food. Mm. You can get at the Costco. I think they have like, like the, a bar there. Like, like they're ready to eat. The hand, yeah. the hand onions. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna say that with that context? <laughs> I have no idea onions are that funny. <laughs> did we not tell this on the no, we, no. Did. we did. We did. We got a lot of other people now listening. So All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, first, let's do this. Let's answer okay. the question. Costco hot dog slash the warm food, the hot food that they all get. Three, two, one, send. It's perfectly rated. How can something be? It's underrated. It, bro, it, is, it is underrated. It's, it's, it's a dollar fifty. How can it be underrated, bro? What do you want it to be fifty? No, because cents? because you barely go. Yeah, yeah. You barely it's, go. It's perfectly rated. Don't be silly. <laughs> it's no. anyway, underrated. Hand on your tomato. Explain. Okay, what is this hand on your thing, bro? You. Oh, it's the funniest thing I've so, seen in my life, <laughs> bro. Minus today's little, what are we doing here? Oh, this Second is- <laughs> biggest laugh of this part I've ever had. Right for the new listeners and Kush apparently who's forgotten this story. The old tale of Han onions goes back to last year, I think around May when we wanted to refurbish the room. Um, obviously our go-to thing would have been Ikea. Uh, you weren't there, Kush, for that, but we decided after a pod recording, we'll go to Mars and Park. They have an Ikea and a Costco, you know, we can next get- Next door. Next oh. door, so we can get a feed and then we can look at the fine furnishes that they have. That day, Ro, no breakfast as usual, was a bit grumpy. Pod recording also went long. So in our car trip to the Ikea Costco, man, he was fiending a- Hot, hot dog, dog mm. and a pizza and a sundae and all sorts of $1. <laughs> the, the soda. The soda, exactly. So we get to the Costco um, and I think you two hadn't been in a long time. Yeah. Whereas I have been somewhat recent. So, you know, they asked me, you know, where do you order? What do you get? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, order at the till. And then you go over to the side part. If you have a hot dog, you can put, you know, ketchup, mustard, relish, onions. Little condiment station. Condiments, you can get serviettes, et cetera. Um, and then one of us also had to man the seat because it was a Saturday lunchtime, hard to get a seat. So one by one, we would go order, um, get our food and then put our condiments on like separately, right? So I think Sen and I went first while Ro manned the seat. Thank you, Ro. And then we got our food and like, hey, okay, we sat down, Ro, you can go, um, go order your food. So he goes to order his food and then <laughs> he gets his hot dog, right? <laughs> 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 and then, and then and I remember this now. I remember you telling me this. He gets his hot dog, and then and then he goes to the condiment station, right? And then obviously the sources are in sauce bottles. They're pretty self-explanatory yeah. on how to use the devices, right? But the onions is a bit of a weird one. The onions are some medieval <laughs> contraption where you like crank the lever. So it's Loki to like pull out the onion. So imagine a, a handheld pencil sharpener, right? Yeah. Where you got to crank the thing. And the onions will and come it's out. Freshly sliced onions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's all the, there's like a, there's a basement to catch like any the, rogue. The residue. Residue <laughs> onions, right? <laughs> so I don't know what Ro did, but he walks to the table with his like hot dog prepared. And he's like, bro, isn't it weird? You have to grab that. <laughs> 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 you got to grab the onions by hand. <laughs> And then said I locked eyes. We're like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> and then and we're like, bro, you have to crank the thing. Like, and then we like, can't you see over there the metal thing? There's a handle that you can pull. Like, take a look. And it should just like fall into your onion without yeah. you having to do anything. And then we look over, and then there's, there's no one using the machine. But there is a cleaner <laughs> wiping down the whole table and putting all the scraps into that base <laughs> that thing that catches the onions. <laughs> Holy oh, So this man had all sorts of bacteria on his onion. <laughs> it's the hand onions. The hand onions. The hand oh, onions. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I do remember you telling me. 
<laughs> to Isle of Wight. And now, even did, with that, didn't you say there was a guy after you who saw you doing the hand <laughs> onions and he followed you? And he <laughs> followed you. <laughs> <laughs> What did you think the lever was for? No, I didn't. I didn't, you didn't know. see it. No, I, I didn't see the lever, or I don't remember if I saw the lever or not. But I just didn't, couldn't clock that. That's where the onions came out. I just saw the onions in like the little um, bucket, the bucket, and I was like, oh, this must be fuels bucket. The onions for my hot dog. And I was looking for a spoon. I was That's- like, oh, is there a spoon around? There was no spoon around. I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just get in and get out, <laughs> dude. That- yeah. And I still was my favorite part of that day, dude. My favorite part was at the end. Oh, come on now. Where you barked at a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, I'll, dude. After you had food? Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. was at Ikea. Now, towards the end of Ikea. We're going to get dessert. We're going to get soft serves. And we were standing. I don't know. Manu walked away. So I was just left with Ro. And we were lining up. And there was kids. <laughs> and then he like a wolf like an owl. Like a wolf. He howled like a wolf inside <laughs> fucking Ikea. <laughs> what? <laughs> So he howled like a wolf earlier, and then we, and then Manu walked away. He's like, I can't deal with this right now. So he left me with him in the line for the soft serve. And there was this kid in front of us who kept looking at us. So then I was like looking at like there was like on the side there was like uh, maybe a shelf with chocolates. So I was looking at the chocolates, and then all I heard behind me was a roof. <laughs> and I turned around, I'm like, what the fuck was that? And I saw the kid like now running and like hugging his parents because this idiot now barked at a child, like a literal three year old kid. And then I looked at him and Rose just like looking up at the sky, <laughs> pretending like he did nothing. <laughs> then I just walked away. I'm like, I just went to go find Miguel. Oh, shit. Oh, my hand is up. There was no excuse for that behavior. I was just feeling very jittery that day. It was ready to be a menace. And even with the hand onions, Ikea hot dogs are still underrated. Perfectly rated. Yeah, no, I think that the, the Costco food station underrated as hell. Man. Even the pizza slice, so underrated. You ever seen like Adrian Widgey or something go to Costco and say, this is the best food ever? No, nah, but the quality is excellent. The portions are huge and the prices are dirt cheap. Unbelievably cheap. Yeah. What's next, Kush? All right. Next one we've got uh, from Christina. Christina says, pickleball is <sighs> underrated. Mm. Zen, three, two, one, you first. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Overrated? Really? Underrated, underrated for me? Mix? Underrated. Kush, well, floor's yours. I've only seen clips. I've never played, so maybe it's me watching pickleball. That's a, that's a little bit overrated, but I just don't see fascination with the sport. Like mm. I, I'd prefer other racket sports potentially: badminton, table tennis, squash, squash, paddle. Yeah, dude, I want to play paddle. Do you want to play paddle? Yeah, Let, let's play paddle. I keep seeing clips of it on my TikTok. It looks mad. There's two places to play: Alexandria yeah. or North Ride. Okay, so oh, North Ride. Ride. Let's go. It's a hundred bucks per hour to rent. How many paddle. people can play paddle at one to four? four? Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Twenty five bucks. Yeah, we'll yeah. take that. Okay. All right. That's uh, you recording. Back to pickleball. I think it's it's pretty fun. Underrated. Why why is it underrated? Well, Such not a... Row, because I know Row's yeah, No, got... you know what? Row floors yours. Well, I got commercial interest in pickleball <laughs> Have we ever that. revealed that on the podcast? Yeah, we have. We have. I think you alluded to Have we? I don't think we've definitely have. Officially. About... Yeah, when we were talking about our careers in Ask TCB, I remember we talked about this. So I've commercial interest in this, obviously, right? Currently I'm running a pickleball business called Pickle Pals. It is a repository or a directory for places to like you can people to find places to play. Wow. That's a tongue twister in Australia. Okay. So my interest is right now I'm partnering with pickleball Australia to be like the number one preferred partner of, if you go on pickleball Australia site, they link out to our site. So that at the moment is a partnership that is currently happening. So I have a vested interest mm. in the sport to in grow. growing the sport. Exactly. Mm. Right. And we've got the, you know, me and Migs were in the AFI article for pickleball. So what can we say? In general, though, it's a fun sport because it's essentially tennis, but you don't have to be coordinated to play. For example, when we play tennis, like, you know, there's a couple of our friends who are not so good at tennis and it's like very difficult to play because tennis is a sport that if you're yeah. not good, it sucks. It's so bad. It's so bad to play. Yeah, yeah. Whereas pickleball. Anyone can play. Anyone can Literally pick it up. anyone can play. It's so simple. And it's just like fun. That, that's just, that's the pitch. You'd agree with that, Mig, Sen? Agreed. I 100% Agreed. agree with that. Okay. All right. Go on to the next one. Um, Belby John. Says ferry rides are underrated. What do you think of the ferry here in Sydney? Three, two, one, send. Yeah, I'll say underrated. Underrated too. Underrated. Yeah. I think it's very underrated. Because if you think about if you want the same experience just in general, you know, you catch a ferry, especially like under the Harbour Bridge in Sydney Harbour. If that was a tourist thing, that would cost a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, think about how many people pay for boat parties and like yeah, yeah, yeah. boat rides. Like people pay out the wazoo for that. And we've got a little ferry that takes it's you from- cheap. Circular key to Manly, one of like the best routes ever yep. for like $8 or something. 
I only ever go whenever we have cousins from overseas. Like that's when we take the ferry to take them on that exact route. And that's mad that we have ferry as a public transport. Yeah, it's that's cool. pretty unique. It's pretty cool. Because like also, um, like one of my co-working spaces is in Manly. And when I have to go into Manly, hey, the commute, I'm actually looking forward to it. Mm. Like I can't wait to get on the, the ferry, sit outside and just like watch the waves and the harbour and stuff. It's beautiful. Okay, very nice. We'll move on to the next one. Fire Mia says staycations are underrated. Sen, three, two, one. Underrated. I'm going to hit both because I have no underrated. real thoughts here. <laughs> <laughs> so perfectly rated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think perfectly rated for me as well. I've gone overrated. Okay, well, Migs, let's hear yours first. Why overrated? And I'm talking staycations. Yeah, like, actually, can we define staycations? Like, I live in Sydney and I'm going to stay overnight in Sydney CBD. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. That oh. is so overrated. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to quickly just quietly change my answer to perfectly rated. Perfectly rated. Okay. Why did you say that's uh, overrated? If I'm going to pay for a hotel and a whole shebang. Why would I do it in the city I live? That's I, my main thing. Change I your get pace, that. maybe? Change your setting? Yeah. Maybe? But I can drive like an hour or two or something and go somewhere that is actually different and then stay there. All right. Well, I got your bus to the city and experience mm. basically everything. The same thing, except I will go back to the house I live in mm. and save a couple hundred. Yeah, that's true. The only thing that justifies it, if the place you're staying at itself is the attraction. So that's if you're saying like the crown or some correct. shit, mm. fine, I'll give you that. I've always thought if you do a staycation, you have to do it at one of those like really nice I've hotels. seen so and many then, people go to just like average hotels. Okay, well then I don't get that. I, I get it when people go and stay at like one of the really nice hotels. Um, I don't really have any strong opinions either way. Like I get it if people do it like that, but if people are going to like normal hotels and in the city, yeah, I don't get it. Makes no sense to me. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one, the second last one. Uh, Bros eighty five says underwear is underrated. Mm. Here we go. Send three, two, one. Overrated. Overrated. I'm gonna say it's perfectly rated underwear. I'm gonna say it's underrated. How can underwear be <laughs> underrated? It can Mix? only be overrated. Mix has also got underrated here. Let's hear a your specific thoughts. pair of nah. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. We're not gonna do the integration nah, nah, here. Nah, nah, nah. nah. This is a, dude, I don't get how it can be underrated, bro. All right. I actually think underwear might be the greatest invention ever made. Like you're protecting your gonads. crown jewels, your gonads from the elements. Without them, we are nothing. We yeah, are you- merely elephants and monkeys and other mammals. Yeah, no, well, there's shorts, <laughs> pants. Yeah, you have other like yeah. apparel on. Yeah. No. You're not George of the Jungle, bro. You, you have <laughs> other shit that you wear. So you're saying a little, little pair of underwear with shorts, that is the ultimate experience rather than just the shorts. Yeah, because like otherwise, Look, I don't want to get too graphic on this podcast. I don't want to get too blue. But otherwise, imagine you're wearing jeans and you've got mm. your, your, your wang hanging out <laughs> and just friction there. And I'll just stop there when I say that. Yeah. Well, we're d- okay, ignore the jeans. What about a nice pair of- Stop. We're not- Okay, okay, okay. okay. Have okay. you ever gone outside without wearing underwear? Well, when you go to the beach, don't you? You, you guys yeah, go free, I free ball. ball in the ocean. That's different. I still wear underwear. I wear underwear in the ocean as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I've changed to free ball. That's yeah, how just... good it is, bro. I wear an underwear no, even in the water. Why? You scared? What the jellyfish is going to sting your dick? No, or no, no. Scared. It just it just feels better. It feels more compact. Everything feels tight. Mine's more logistic based. It's just easier to wash and you know don't have to. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> this man says he's not going to get too graphic, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but what about normal day to day? Have you ever gone without underwear? Only uh, at home. Sometimes I'll free ball. Yeah, I get that as well. But no, nah, never out in the open. There was one time where I had to ditch the underwear. What did you do? I had explosive diarrhea. And I was like, <laughs> dude, this has got to go. So I've, I've, I've left the underwear. You were how old? I was like maybe primary school at okay, the time. Right. Okay. Uh, and so I was like. It doesn't oh, count. What do you mean? It does count. In so, primary school, you had the wherewithal to know to ditch the undies. Yeah, year six. You're like. You're oh, like okay. aware. Oh, okay. Six like, counts, all right. <laughs> like, I thought you were like five or six. No, no, no. I was like in year five or six. And you're like getting that. explosive diarrhea in year six. <laughs> yeah. What did you have? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I remember like being out. I'm sure you're old enough to know to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. but it's just too late. Mate, it was way too late. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've decided, all right, let's do a cleanup job here. I've got the underwear and unfortunately I've just left it in the toilet. So I've left them a little Ooh. surprise for the next person that comes in. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, that's the only time I think I've gone in public without underwear. Do I suggest it's just perfectly right because everyone wears it? It's perfectly right. I think so. Mm, it's look. not like a divisive piece of apparel. <laughs> it shouldn't be. Mm. <laughs> All right, last one, Kush. Last one. Okay. Harry says the Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 is underrated. All right, let's hear your thoughts here. 
10, 3, 2, 1. Uh, I need to write something massively underrated. I'm going to hit this twice. That's how underrated it is. So underrated. Uh, the 5.0 is honestly, when you're talking about one of the greatest inventions, mm. they could be up there. You were talking about the compactness, protecting your crown jewels. Dude, the Manscaped 5.0 is the way to do it. Just that smooth sort of silk cutting edge technology that it has. Mm. Just to really get down there and what, what do we say before? Clean the pubes and gain the confidence. That's what you need. No yeah. nicks and cuts, no worries. Oh, there it I don't is. think technically we're legally allowed to say that anymore. <laughs> Reduce, 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 Reduce nicks and cuts. Reduce worries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but look, Manscaped really, it's not even just the lawnmower 5.0. No. There's some other stuff. Look, we talk about underwear. I was going to say. The boxes. the boxes. That's where I was going. Those are the greatest boxes on planet Earth and they're severely underrated. Those really boxes are <laughs> big time. <laughs> big big time. time. And look, if you ever want to buy these products from Manscaped, mm. there is a way to do so. You hop onto the website. You add these beautiful products that will protect your gonads. It's very underrated products. Exactly. And what you're going to do is you're going to add them to your cart. And before you hit checkout and all your payment methods, you're going to hit three letters into your, the promotion section, TCB. Once you hit TCB, you're going to get off 20% off. 20? 20% off. Underrated and, discount. No, no. And there's more. Oh, what? Free shipping. Wow. wow. Crazy. 20% off on free shipping. And so, fellas, use TCB and get yourself some good underrated products from manscaped.com. Go shave your pubes. That brings us to the end of an absolutely fantastic episode, I must say. Let us know if you have any ghost stories. We'd be very, very, very keen to hear them. Thank you to everyone who submitted overrated and underrated. Uh, there was heaps to get through. We couldn't get to all of them, so apologies for that. You can find our full episodes on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Subscribe to us on YouTube, give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok, and we'll catch you guys next week.